Hello everyone, this is Lysol with a new video series for you. Speculation, what should the next Omicron be? In this video, I'll be answering seven questions. One, what is an Omicron? Two, which character? Three, Grand Reno or TW? Four, why not? Five, what is the kit? Six, how could it work? Seven, how to use it? And let's get started. What is an Omicron? An Omicron is an ability tier that is mode specific, buffing up a certain team or character in a particular game mode. The most popular Omicrons are GAC or TW specific. In the initial announcement, they specified they chose many of the characters because they were galactic legend requirements that were underused. That brings us to our next question, which is which character? Today's choice is Cad Bane. He's currently a Disney golden boy being used in multiple Star Wars media in the past few years. He's also a Jedi Master Kenobi requirement. Many have him geared for his use in the Executor fleet as well. He barely has any usability in GAC or TW and the only current bounty hunting Omicrons are Zam and Gak and Sign of Django in Territory War. Now, will it be Gak or TW? My thought is it'll be TW. Sign of Django's Omicrons are more meant for a scoundrel team with like Fennec Shand and IG-11 and Quill uh, instead of Bounty Hunters. And the Bounty Hunters have an Omicron and GAC already with Xan. Now why not? There's one big reason why not. It's yet another dark side Omicron. Of the 42 Omicrons, 26 of them are dark side, leaving only 18 that are light side. Cad Bane's basic, has a chance to double attack, inflicts accuracy down, and gains turn meter on a critical hit. His special dispels and stuns for one turn, removes turn meter, and if the target is debuffed, removes 25% of their max protection stacking. Also, it cannot be evaded. I believe his leadership is irrelevant. His special gives him crit chance and damage. When he inflicts a debuff, he recovers health and protection. Uh, when he scores a critical hit, he has a 50% chance to reduce his cooldowns by one. His payout gives him evasion and the ability to inflict two thermal detonators on somebody whenever he evades. So how could a Cad Bane Omicron work? My thought is it would probably be on the unique, give him more turn meter on crits, something like 25%. So he has a chance to, to get a 100% turn meter, but it's conditional. Maybe half for other bounty hunters, a chance to inflict blind on a crit, perhaps an out of turn attacks by Cad or his bounty hunter allies. This would effectively change Cad Bane's accuracy down to blind, which are two debuffs that have a similar effect. And it would increase the survivability of the bounty hunters and offer them a way to push their turn meter a little faster. Alternatively, you could add the health and protection recovery to all bounty hunter allies, and that would increase their survivability even more. So how would you use this speculative Cad Bane Omicron. I've got four teams here that I think you could use it with. You could put them on a Scion of Django team in Territory Wars. They'd be really fast. They'd be pushing a lot of turn meter and healing. You could put them on a Bosk Mass Assist team with Grief, Mando, Django Fett. If there's no taunt on the field, you'd be able to push the contract really quickly. You'd be getting a lot of turn meter. There's the Executor crew here that is basically, if you just have the Executor but not really well developed bounty hunters, you're going to want a Relic to Cad Bane anyway. So this is the perfect addition to those guys. And then uh, pushing the contract with Aura Lead. You'll be pushing turn meter really fast. You're, you're going to have a lot of buffs on you. You're going to be able to get uh, the contract and Mandalorian annihilate off really quickly well thanks for watching guys be sure to like and subscribe and uh, follow me on twitch at the Lysol uh, I'm usually on at about 6 6 30 Eastern time most mornings except for Sundays and Tuesdays uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there later